morning. While I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee, I'm gonna take you through what I have planned for today because we are going to have a productive day. As always, I have my day planned out and time blocked with three goals picked out that I would love to achieve today. The first one is working out because one of my goals is usually always something to do with exercise because I really enjoy moving my body and making that a priority. The second one is for my VA job and it's finishing refreshing a product line for her. And my last one is finishing a logo for one of my clients today. Usually first thing in the morning I go and do my workout and yes I'm already in my active wear ready to go however today I'm going to clean the house first and that is because we are currently staying in an Airbnb and we've been here for the last two weeks and this is actually our last week here in Carbo but the owner of this Airbnb is actually selling their Airbnb so they have an inspection at one o'clock today so we're gonna tidy up the house a bit and I actually don't mind because it gives me an excuse to go lay by the pool while people are inspecting the house I cannot believe that this is our last week in Carbo as well time has gone so fast last weekend we actually went down to the marina area and it was a very pretty area to go and explore we really enjoyed walking around the marina there and doing a lot of seal watching they're actually quite active there so that was really fun to watch but i really need to finish my coffee and start cleaning the house because i have so many things that we need to get through today partner is going to deal with his stuff and I will tackle the bathroom once I'm done getting ready for today as well as the kitchen I'll sort out once we've had breakfast but for the most part the place is tidy we're just going to sweep and wipe everything down once we've kind of finished getting ready for today so on that note I'm going to go head down to the gym Today I'm doing a lower body workout from the Weeglow app and I'm really loving this new routine because they're only 30 minutes long so I'm in and out really quickly but let's get started. Today for breakfast, I'm making breakfast tacos. And let me tell you, I was so excited when I found out that I was coming to Mexico because when we were here last time, we were only here from Christmas until February. We stayed in Playa del Carmen and Tulum, so the other side. But every morning that we were in Mexico, we had breakfast tacos because they have this salsa here. Let me show you. And it is the best thing ever to put on your breakfast tacos. Really, it is just bacon and eggs and a tortilla with a bit of lime and this salsa. Oh, it is so good. And I'm really hungry, so let's get started. I mean, how good does this look? I'm so excited to have this because I'm absolutely starving and this just hits in the morning. I really am a more savory person, that's for sure. I'm not one to really order pancakes. However, me and my partner do have a tradition of pancake Sunday. When we first started dating every Sunday, he would make us protein pancakes and it's something that's kind of continued on two years later. So I don't mind a protein pancake on a Sunday, especially when it's been made for me. I'm about to go jump in the shower. It's definitely a hair wash day, but because we're going down to the pool later, I won't bother with it now. And then I'll get ready and jump straight into work. Mm -hmm. 
We're finally up to the first workbook of the day, which is my VA work. And I said this workbook, I was going to finish updating one of her resource lines. And that's what I'm gonna focus on the next few hours. And I'm hoping that that will take me right up to lunchtime. We just have a last few things to clean, kind of just wiping down benches and sweeping the floors before the inspection does happen. So I'm just gonna knuckle down and focus and try and work as quickly as I can. Just a little time check. We are one hour in and it is time for a coffee break. It is nearly one o'clock and I have finished the slides. I just need to make the previews now. So the home stretch is there. But because it is nearly one o'clock, I thought I would show you around the Airbnb that we're staying at because it is really nice. And then we're gonna put some sunscreen on and head down to the pool. When you walk in, you have this hallway and we do have another bathroom just through there. Here's our lovely big kitchen and this is the first bedroom which we kind of use as like basically our wardrobe and the bathroom that I've been getting ready in. Then out here we have our lounge room and then this is our bedroom that we have been using. And this also has a, another bathroom in here. Honestly, this place has been so big and so lovely to live in the last few weeks, especially because it is a ground floor apartment. We also have easy access to the pool and the gym as you saw this morning. I also really love the view that we have. Let me show you. So just out here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up as a distinction as much, but you can see the ocean from where we are. And there is also a church down there and at night it looks so beautiful all lit up. As I said though, the inspection is happening very soon. So we're gonna pack our stuff away, go put our sunscreen on and head down to the pool. We're about to head down. It will be about 30 minutes. So I've just bought my Kindle to read for a little bit, but I do think for the most part, I will be in the pool. I'm not gonna lie. It is actually kind of nice to be forced to have a break in the middle of the day. So I'm gonna enjoy this sunshine. Come up from the pool, showered and washed my hair. It is currently 2.30 though. The inspection didn't take that long. Like I said, it was only about 30 minutes, but just washing my hair and drying it takes a little longer. But because it is 2.30, I am gonna make lunch now. And lunch is so easy. It's already this pre-cooked beef with frozen veggies and some refried beans. It sounds very average, but it tastes so good. This is the beef that I was referring to. I'm gonna heat it up in a fry pan. The frozen veggies I will just do in the microwave as well as the refried beans. Well, this meal doesn't look too great because let's be real, you can only make refried beans look so good. It does taste amazing. And also it only takes about four minutes to make, which I love. So on really time poor days, it's so easy to just chuck all together and it has a great source of protein as well. I would have made a bowl for my partner as well, but he's decided to go to the gym. So he'll chuck this all together when he comes back because it is so quick to make. Uh, I have to show you as well what I'm drinking because it's one of my favorite things when I come to Mexico. It's a coconut sparkling water and it is so good. We've not been able to find anything else like it in our travels. And so when I found out that I was coming to Mexico for my birthday, that was one of the things that I was so excited to drink. I will say coming to places like this as well make it so hard to stay motivated to work because all of me just wanted to stay out by that pool today. But I knew that I had so many things that I needed Needed to do so I begrudgingly came back but let me tell you that sun was absolutely delicious here we go workbook two I'm aiming to get my VA goal done I'm gonna set that timer and this will be me for the next few hours Oh my God. Just 
just like that five hours has flown by today working on this project but it is done and I'm so happy so that is two of my three goals set today that I have achieved which means I have one more to do however it is six o'clock so I think we will start dinner soon so it means that my third work for for the day will be after dinner for dinner tonight I'm just making pork tacos so similar to the beef it is already cooked pork so I'm just gonna heat that up Toast the tortillas and then we've got some leftover canned pineapple so I'm just going to fry that up and put it on the tacos. And dinner is ready don't laugh at the veggies on there we got to keep that balance up but this is such a quick and easy meal and that's why I love making it especially on days like this when I have so many things on my to-do list I need something that I can make really fast and it tastes really good too while we're eating dinner we'll probably put on a bit of Netflix to wind back and enjoy before I hit into my third working block of the day We are heading into my final work block of the evening and it is a logo design. So this client actually has a full branding project that I need to do, but I always start first with the primary logo and work from there. And last night I was sketching a few different designs. I do find that I feel a bit more creative at nighttime. So I don't actually mind designing this late. This logo though, I'm really looking forward to seeing it come to life. So that's what I'll spend the next, you know, two hours doing. I've made some awesome progress on my logo tonight, but it is getting pretty late. So I'm gonna start getting ready for bed now. I do really enjoy time blocking my day though for those work blocks because I feel like it just makes me so much more productive, especially having those breaks in there too. It just makes me reset and refocus when I go back into my work block. Also having those different goals within those work blocks just help as an extra motivator to get the thing done that I need to do. So I feel like I've had a very productive day and I'm ready to do it all again. And how I do that is I make planning my day a part of my evening routine. So you'll see after I wash my face and brush my teeth, I'll get into my pajamas and pull out my iPad and I'll plan out my day for tomorrow. So I'll quickly go and do that and then I'll take you through my process. With my planning every month I have three goals that I want to focus on and then I break those down into my weekly goals which break down into my daily goals. This just keeps me accountable and constantly working towards what I want to achieve. Every Sunday I sit down and I work out my weekly goals so this week I'm focusing on finishing that branding project that I was working on tonight, finishing off that project for my BA job which I did complete today and then lastly it's been my exercise goal which I've been really good at keeping accountable for that. Tomorrow is Thursday which is usually my vlog editing day so majority of my day will focus around that and that will be goal number one goal number two will be it's my run day tomorrow so I'll be doing a 5k run and then my last goal for tomorrow is going to be working on some custom clip art as I said I usually leave my third work block of the day as something for my design work because I just feel like I have a bit more creativity at night and it's easy to sit on my computer or my iPad and work from the couch I really enjoy doing that and that's how I'll break up my work blocks tomorrow if you are intrigued to see my planning in a little bit more detail I do actually have a video on it which I will link for you down below however I did film that video a little while ago so let me know in the comments if you need an updated one because recently I've been focusing more on time blocking and so it might be time for me to refilm it let me know in the comments though once I'm done with my planning to finish off my evening routine I will always end it in bed reading on my kindle I got my kindle for Christmas and honestly I wish I'd gotten one sooner for our travels this thing has been the best thing ever if you're gonna take a piece of tech with you take a kindle because you read it on a plane you read it in bed you read it by the pool it's been the best purchase i can't even tell you how many books i've read this year i feel like i'm probably close to 40 or 50 books on that note though i am gonna head to bed i cannot believe i only have one more week here in cabo which means the next video i post i will be in a different country so if you did enjoy this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to keep following along on my travels and i'll see you in the next video